Okay, I'm back. It's uh, crappy out. That's a puddle. It's raining. It's 45 degrees and it's August 5th. Um, I don't know what's going on with the weather. But that's the fourth uh, or third pearl line coming down from the ridge pole on this side. So we're, uh, I'm happy, making progress. And got to go remove foam. You got to do something when it's raining. You can't just sit around. So as unpleasant as it is, uh, it's uh, machete time. What I'm doing is I'm going to be removing some of the foam. Uh, Got to do it. Uh, it's raining today, so I don't want to be up on the top of the building. Um, but basically, I wanted to get a before and after picture. This is razor sharp. Um, I got to get this off by the end of the season so it doesn't trap water over the winter. It's ready, you know, it's ready to work. And that's what I'll be doing so the water will go down and off. It won't be trapped in that first little ridge and cause more problems than it, than it uh, solves. So, after I do this, um, for a day or two, it's nice and sharp. Um, we'll get back to you on this. Now uh, today, I'm going to work on the back wall, the back north wall and uh, put a razor sharp edge on the machete. Got to remove the foam, get it ready to put uh, the concrete on, uh, like you're seeing on the inside here. Um, 45 degrees, August 5th. Um, I'm just glad it finally stopped raining. It's been raining for about four or five hours. Um, that's my mission. So, back to work. It's, uh, it's a couple hours later, five hours later, um, still working on the back wall, but I came in to, uh, the camera's under the rain shelter, uh, I came in to switch coats, this one is apparently not as one as I thought it was, so anyway, um, that's what's up. Um, obviously you could probably hear it, the rain has not stopped. Uh, but I haven't stopped either. There's my machete. Um, I've got a lot done. Obviously, I want to get more done. I've got to do this entire wall. Um, so that's what I'm up to. I didn't quit. Um, I don't have any idea what time it is. But uh, I'm going to keep at it. Uh, back again. Machete sharpened. Got all this yesterday during the rain. Rained all day. You can only get so wet. Um, the cold is, is a bigger problem than the rain. Um, then I changed inside under the shelter and uh, drove back in the rain. So you, you wind up soaked anyway, but it, it makes you feel better being dry for a little bit. Um, so it's not raining today. I'm going to finish up. Then get ready to do the concrete work on this. Today I gotta go to the backside. It's it's dry and it's been raining for three days straight. But I uh, got rid of all the foam, ground it all down, hand sanded the logs, got rid of the knots, and uh, but the corners where they cross, I've got to get between them and sand them. So I know they have sandpaper you can probably buy somewhere that's heavy duty. Uh, but what I did this morning was I took Gorilla Tape and taped together uh, three sections of tape and my theory is to slide them between the logs and then sand them so that's going to save me a lot of time today and do a better job um, i'm off to uh, test the new product it's a research and development project um, one other thing water gets between the logs so you got to get rid of that first or you'll wreck the sandpaper so Thank <laughs> you. 
is how you get around that. Okay. You have to also uh, wear gloves. That's where the big black hairy spiders hang out. Yeah. This is working. Obviously, this is wall eight. This can last longer. I'll get rid of the foam while I'm here, but I'll probably concrete it and seal it uh, two weeks from now when I get back from my last trip in, in uh, 217. All right, this is gonna work. And this. Yes. All right. Just want to make sure the sealer actually sticks. If you don't, if you don't do all this, then everything else you did is doesn't mean anything. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that one more time. Blow it off and take a look at it. But looks like the plan's working. I'm under my rain shelter. I had to come in. Obviously, you can hear the rain. Um, came in to get this black uh, raincoat and uh, change. Because the one I got on just isn't cutting it. Everything's sanded, taped from top to bottom. Now, I've got to do the concrete in between. Um, I'll start doing that um, now. Um, really happy. The north wall now, from bottom to top, is sanded, denotted, taped off, cemented. Every joint, all the chinking is done. The corners are smooth to. Uh, make it so it's harder for little critters to get in there and stay in there. So that is done. The next step is to coat it with two coats and I cut, had to, to make this work, I had to go back and cut the forest back. In other words, to allow that, uh, that yellow ball over there, um, the ability to come in and at least for a couple hours a day, now it'll, you can see where the sun's hitting the corner there it'll allow it to dry out um, not a lot but a lot more than it was and that's what you want to avoid the moisture so real happy except now I've got to coat the whole thing twice by hand with a brush so that's it signing off for the day it's August 7th um, it's so the weather's so crummy this season, I had to build a canopy over the whole north end of the cabin because I just got done uh, hand sanding, denotting, and cementing between every log. And it can't cure, needs 48 hours of dry weather to cure. And I don't think we've had 48 hours of dry weather in the last uh, month and a half that I've been here. So you got to improvise, so I made a roof. Um, it's kept the rain off last night and it's going to rain again today. So I'm going to go back to working on uh, notching logs for the purlines for the roof. I'm uh, sitting up in the northeast corner. Just finished notching the last purline for this row. It's purline five. So we've got this whole side done. I know it's, it's weird looking at it like this. <laughs> and I've got a rain cover still on uh, for the cement to dry on the north wall between all the chinking. So, and of course, a huge storm is moving in again. That'll be about the fifth one in six days. So, but I'm moving, moving ahead. It's looking good. Big day in the neighborhood.
they got to decide what to do with the overhang. But uh, that's another that's another story. It's even. They're laying flat. I'm a happy guy. Um, I can't take it anymore. Uh, it's been raining two or three times a day, if not every single day, for 11 days. Um, I've been working under tarps, which is working. Got the north wall done. It's sanded, denotted, hand sanded, cemented, sealed twice, and tarred on the bottom. And it's drying right now, and I'm leaving that tarp the length of the back wall of the cabin up until I get back. So that'll dry in here. I made another temporary tarp here so I can dry this stuff out from over there. Uh, I'm out of here.